Now today we'll see that uh, we know that exit system call is for terminating the uh, child process and when it will be called it, it, it will look for the parent process to resume from the sleep state to the running state. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see that how this wait uh, system call is going to work. So wait is associated with the parent and this exit is associated with the child, right? So let's see these two concepts and then we'll go on to the CPU schedule. Now we, we all know what is the structure of the uh, new program generation. So let's say in this particular program, if you can see here we have, uh, this is one program and the fork has been called. So we know that when this fork is going to be called, it is going to return some value. So which value it is going to return? So fork is going to return uh, child, process, uh, child process ID to the parent process and zero to the child process. So the fork is going to return uh, the value, one value for the parent process, another value for the child process. So if it is returning the child process, uh, process ID, definitely it will be more than zero. So that particular part will be uh, executed by the parent. And what parent will do is, parent is going to wait. Why it is going to wait? Because once a parent will be created, it is the responsibility of the child process to execute new processes. And we all know that when a child process will call access system call, here is a variety of access system call that is access LP. So the, if it will call the access system call, it is actually uh, terminating itself uh, from the main memory and loading a new program into the main memory. So once it is terminating itself, it will call the exit system call. And this exit system call is going to look for the parent process who is sleeping right now because the wait means it will go to the sleep mode and from because it is going to the waiting state, right? So it will wait for some time. It is not in the ready state. So exit system call will make that particular sleep state to the running state and it will put into the uh, main memory again. Even though it is not getting the CPU, CPU is getting with this particular program, but that uh, child process terminate itself and change its state and it will uh, call, uh, it will look for this particular uh, parent process and from the sleep mode, it will take it to the running state. So that is what happened when we do exit. Now, what, what is the responsibility of this wait? The wait system call uh, will make this parent process to go into the sleep mode. And it, once it will be wake up. So sleep mode definitely will, will not going to sleep for the entire period of time. Will sleep and then will wake up. So once we'll wake up, it will look for the uh, look for the child. Is child is terminated or not? If child is terminated, then the wait system call is going to uh, delete all the files, all the uh, all the memory that is allocated by the child process, and then it will uh, call its own parent or it will be terminated itself and call its own parent in that way it, it goes on so in today's class we'll see that how the exit is going to work and how this wait is going to work let's see one by one so in the exit system call how this operating system reacts we all know that this init is a first process that will not going to exit anywhere, right? So as I told you that init process will not be called by the fork or access system call. It will be, this is the first process 
that is there in the main memory after the booting process so you can say this is the super parent so we know that about in it right for all other processes on exit what will happen because in it is not going to exit but other processes will react on exit system call what they will do first thing is decrement the usage counter of all open files so whatever the open file is it will make it to zero means close file if usage count is zero so if the usage count is zero so what what we'll do is we'll going to close all the file open by that particular process next wake up the parent right so because the exit is there in the child process child process is going to wake up the parent process so if parent state is sleeping make it running why it is needed because parent may be sleeping due to wait system call that's why we have to uh, wake awake the parent by putting its state from running state to so from uh, sleeping state to running state make in it process adopt children of exited parent now this exit system call also responsible when this in it is going to adopt the orphan children so we have talked about orphan children earlier right so what is what do you mean by orphan children so there is a case like when the children is running and its parent has been terminated at that particular time that child process will become orphan and when this exit system call is going to uh, execute in the child it will look for its parent because parent is not there so it will indicate the init process to adopt its uh, this particular child so this is how it happened otherwise this particular uh, uh, child which doesn't have any parent will never going to uh, exit from the system because exit from the system doesn't mean that process is terminating it is all the open file all the memory that is allocated by child should also be deallocated right so that way is not going to happen once uh, whenever there is no parent so this init process has to adopt that particular children and set process state to zombie state at last when the up child will exit itself it will change its state to zombie state okay note that page directory kernel stack not deallocated here so once the child is going to call the exit system call it is not going to deallocate the page directory or kernel stack now who will do that it is the responsibility of the parent process to deallocate all those things because the parent direct parent directory and kernel stack is also associated with the parent so we cannot actually deallocate it because they are the shared resources which is shared between uh, parent and the child so we cannot actually deallocate that we actually deallocate the files which are open by the child but file should also be not shared with the parent it should be individual so this is how it dumped so at last what will happen is the child process uh, will become a zombie okay okay next let's go to the wait system call that if a wait system call will be called then what will happen so this will be called earlier right earlier by the parent process now once this wait system call will uh, wait system will be called then process p in process table it will look for the parent process sorry uh, the child process 
so first first of all wait system call is making the parent process to go into the sleep mode once it will wake up from the sleep mode then what will happen then this wait system call will look for any process belongs to the process table and it will look for its child process because it knows the child id right it look for the child process if it doesn't get the child process then it will again look up look up the uh, this uh, table which is called uh, process table so it it will again and again look for the process table here now once this this uh, process which is a parent process got the child process if it is yes then it will look for the child state what is the state of the child so here the child state is going to change to zombie when the child will exit right without exiting it is not going to call so it will not be going to change so the child it will look for that particular child process is change it to zombie or not if it is not changed into zombie then it will go to the sleep mode again because it knows that my child is is not exited till now if it has been exited in the, in the child process state has been changed to zombie then it will deallocate kernel stack and free page directory right so because the kernel state and page directory was not free or not deallocated and then it is going to return the pid of that particular child so that is how this wait system call is going to work so at last it is going to call the 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 child pid and return back to the parent so it is not like one parent has only uh, associated with one child one parent may be associated with more than one child so if we have to look for all the child to be exit then only parent is allowed to exit the system okay